Stewie, wake up. You gotta start the episode like you do every week. Come on. Hey. We're going to Johnny's. I guess. I guess I'll start the episode. That's right, Unwreckers. We're going to Johnny's. I haven't been there in a while. It rained most of the day yesterday. So like always, it's gonna be a mud hole and it's gonna be fun digging in to get a, a wheel hub, but that's if I find one I need because I don't know that any of the other models will. I don't know, it looked like the Endeavors maybe. There's a couple other things, but that backing plate's the main thing and it's like pressed onto the hub and it's a hundred dollars just to buy the backing plate. and. <laughs> I'm going to get a used one regardless. Uh, the Weber Brothers place that I got the door from, they have the whole setup. So uh, they told me $120 for everything, which is not bad. But I want to try to save where I can. So Johnny's trip. And while I'm going up there, I want to go to Surplus City and get some steel um, for some stuff I want to do to the lift. And we got parts in. Turn around, camera. There, there you go. Okay, I did buy brand new back rotors. I didn't want to put used ones on since I'm in there now. Uh, we're just brand new. So we don't have to worry about warpage or rust or any of that nonsense. Uh, that'll be that'll be nice on the car. So I just need to get the rest of the stuff. I will probably, if I'm, since it's an e-brake setup. The brake pads on the regular calipers are in very good shape. They look like they were recently replaced. Flip around. And, uh, but e-brake is the e-brake. So I'm not necessarily gonna have new pads. I'm gonna get whatever is in the whole setup. But hopefully I can leave everything in the hub. I won't have to disassemble anything. All I gotta do is unbolt the axle and then get behind it and unbolt the hub if they're there. There's a speed sensor that goes on there too. Even if it's close to the same setup, I can take the bracket and use the speed sensor from the car that's on it. There's a bracket that goes around the back of the hub that holds a speed sensor and it just clips in. So I can reuse that hopefully. Also wanted to discuss something real quick. Not a big deal, but I just wanted you guys to know that if I'm not answering your comments or, or liking them or getting back to you during the week or whatever, I'm moving to a new area at work. Cell phones are not permitted. So all week long during the day all day i won't have a cell phone i won't be able to get be in contact with anybody so um it's not that i'm ignoring you guys i just wanted to let you guys know that and then i'll come to my phone at the end of the day and be bombarded with all these messages and stuff but that's what's happening all right so here's one of our wheel hubs this is the one that the knob is busted off of right there so um as you can see, that's part of the backing plate, which is stamped with those two stamps right there. Worst case scenario, I'm trying to look at this. I wonder if you can replace that center knob. I just noticed that. That um, I'm not sure. You might just be able to replace that piece if I can find one. Um... Maybe we can go that route. I'll take the whole thing, though. Our first stop on today's journey, Surplus City. in there to get steel I did not get any steel because their prices are ridiculous I'm gonna get back to that place I got the I-beam at to get the steel that I need so whatever I got some car stuff I uh, was looking for automotive paint I wanted wheel paint Duplicolor they make wheel paint and they make brake caliper paint and after painting Ashley's Camaro wheel well we painted her brake calipers with that caliper paint it is not chipped discolored or anything so I want to use that on this uh, Lancer so it looks nicer <music> All 
right guys, so I'm glad I waited to come to Johnny's until a little bit later. It is very nice out right now. It's sunny. I'm not even gonna wear my sweatshirt in. And as you know, I'm not allowed to have cameras in there, so I'm not gonna take you guys in with me. So, uh, I'll show you guys what I get when I come out. Psych. I'm taking you in. So the older Eclipse one looks similar, but the brake caliper is on the other side and it's not all wheel drive so you don't have an axle coming through. So I don't think this hub will be compatible, but the shield, they might have the, the, the brake hardware I need anyway. I might end up taking that just to put on this. I'm gonna walk the whole yard first, but I did find a Lancer. Rough. It's only two wheel drive, front wheel drive, so it's a totally different hub. Now, this is a newer Eclipse, and it looks to be the same setup, except for minus the, you know, the center hub. So, I may be taking this. I see the e-brake goes in the same spot. Shield looks similar. Here, here's mine, they let me bring it in. So, you can see, it's uh, kind of the same setup. The brake caliper goes and everything. So, I'm thinking one of these might be, I don't know if it's gonna be this one because it's buried in the dirt. There's another one right there, there's supposedly more. So, I'm gonna walk around and see what I can find, but yeah, that model definitely won't work, and that sucks. Because it didn't even show that they had one of these model years here. But they do! Still blows my mind that that old Nissan's here, because that thing has, like, all the panel, everything looks good on it. The interior is not that bad. The motor's in it, it's a turbo 3 liter. Uh, and it's a stick shift. I just can't believe it's here. They wouldn't let me buy the whole thing, I tried. Um, this one, they have a muffler shoved underneath it so it's up off the ground so this one might be the one that I take them from we'll see let me see what the other side looks like no it's buried in the dirt I did find a jack you're not supposed to use them here but you know zero craps given I'm gonna use one let's go up through the whole yard and see what else is here first here it is. I just want to show you guys again. I see that the fender is rusted, but like for the most part, the body on this thing, I already went over this once before, but man, it's, it's, uh, the seat is a little bit tore, but, and there's some stuff missing, not much. I don't know if the hood will release. The motor and everything was in it last time I was here. Yep, sure is. And who else here watches Mighty Car Mods? Is the mirror. It's a stick. Well, I'm at the top of the import yard, and other than a couple older Gallants, there's nothing up here that is compatible. It's not bad looking. Um, they do have some more cars up here this time, but... Um, another thing I wanted to check was I wanted to go down into the SUV, uh, down in the domestic yard, because they put import SUVs down there instead up here. These are just the cars. 
um, except for Subaru Foresters. I don't know what the exception is, <laughs> why they do that. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and rip a hub off of one of the Eclipses, see what it looks like, um, see if it's gonna be usable. And if not, um, there, there is always the option that I can just weld onto this. Well, it's gonna be tough with that with the the bearing in there and everything that, that would be that'd be tough because it's in the way i can't get a straight shot on it now if i took it off there and maybe reattached it with bolts it might be all right all right so there's a jack in this car i'm going to take this one off because it's the same side as that one so we can really compare them and let's just jack it up and, and get it off there All right, so what I'm using out of these, I'm not using the whole backing plate and stuff. I'm just using all the brake hardware on both of them. And that pin's not as important as I thought it was. Right here is that pin that's busted off on mine. And all it does is hold these springs in place. So I'm gonna try, this looks like it is separate. And I wanna bet that uh, that hub will probably come right out of there too, I bet you these ones popped out I bet you it's just rust that's holding that on there but I'm gonna use this pin in that one and then all the hardware all right so I've been doing all this work right next to this Lancer I just looked at this Lancer I don't think there is a single good panel on this whole car I mean, every panel is damaged in one way or another. The trunk looks good until you get here. And this whole side, this thing rolled for sure. The roof is dented. Every door, ooh, I think this door is good. One good door. <laughs> and it looks like a crap paint job, I wanna say. This is a stick shift model and it's a non-turbo on top of that man this thing's like brand new look at that bottle it's like no dirt there's hardly any dirt in the engine bay but yeah this thing got demolished bumpers trash headlights trash um grill pieces are smashed that one grill piece is good probably some good interior panels <laughs> but wow it's just it's just it's bad that Subaru's not in bad shape. Man, it turned out to be a wonderful day. Uh, pretty sure I got all the parts that I need. Um, 23.32. All in all, that was a fun trip. I haven't been to Johnny's in a while. It's a blast. I love going there. Uh, the whole yard's completely different than it was the last time I was there. So it, it's like, you know, it, it's awesome. I like going there because it's always different. Uh, the domestic yard looked completely different. I didn't go down in it because there's nothing that I need. I didn't need to go down through there and buy stuff that I didn't need. Right now, I'm going to run Harbor Freight. If you didn't notice, I used that extendable wrench a lot. And that's the one that the screw fell out of and I lost it. You know, I Actually, it just wasn't there and the other one was loose. Uh, I, I've still been using it, but I'm going to take it back because I want one that has both bolts in it. So that is a very good the half inch one. It's a very good wrench to have when you go to a yard like that because sometimes you need a little extra leverage. It's like having a breaker bar and a ratchet in one. It makes the job quicker. So 
go get yourself one at Harbor Freight. Lifetime warranty because it's Pittsburgh Steel. And I'm not endorsed by Harbor Freight yet. Come on. Come on, Harbor Freight. Oh, Lord, baby Jesus, help me, please. In and out. In and out. That's that's all we need. Just, just get a tool replaced. I think that was the easiest tool return I've ever done. I walked up to the register. He said, you swapping it out for another? And I said, yep. And he went and grabbed one, handed it to me. He said, thank you. He said, uh, there you go. Good to go. All right. He didn't even look at it. I said, it still works. I'm just missing some hardware in it. He goes, oh, no problem. Good Lord. It's a Cavalier SS. So on the way home, I stopped at Advance Auto. Got a couple things for the car. First off, everybody has their own opinion. They're all unique. Everybody likes their own style. I just want to put that off first right now. The wheels on this car, if I can get you, there we go. They're gonna go black, gloss black, because I want them to. And the last time I checked, this was my channel. So I can do what I want. The brake calipers, a lot of people won't agree on, are going blue. They didn't have brake caliper paint in blue. They had red, black, silver, I think gunmetal. Pretty sure that was it. Um, but the brake caliper paint is good up to 500 degrees. This is engine paint. Also good up to 500 degrees and resistant to oils and fluids and stuff. Now, it doesn't say anything about brake dust, but should hold up pretty good. As long as it's prepped good, this should work good. So, that's what we're doing. Come on, tracking. You gotta follow me faster. Uh, so that's what we're doing on this. It'll be on the next episode. That's when we're gonna be cleaning up areas that need to be cleaned up, cleaning the tape off for the side skirts and stuff, and uh, then we'll be prepping the wheels and painting them. Hopefully I'll have some painted parts by then. We can start slapping this thing back together. And it might be in a couple weeks. So, anyways, I'm gonna slap this brake hardware on here and see how it fits up. I already put the new caliper down over it and it fits his brake shoes perfect. So it's the right diameter, I was just hoping. So yes, they are right. We're gonna throw all the hardware in and see how it works out. I, I think it's gonna work perfect. Alright guys, so I ground all the rivets out and found out I only need to take the center one out. It is Basically it is riveted. This is the pin that the brake shoes ride on and that is where it broke off at. And that's what holds the springs. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of this hub. And then I'm going to grind the back side of this off. Get it out of there. Get it in this one. And, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to weld it in. Um, I'll show you what it looks like on this side. Like that. Um, like I said, we'll get her welded in there then. And uh, she should be pretty good. At least it's not the main brakes. It's the emergency brakes. But I feel confident that after I weld that pin in there, it's not going to go anywhere. So um, I'm going to go ahead and swap all this stuff over well most of it i can go ahead i can swap it all over and then go ahead and, and weld that in there um but i am going to have to grind that pin out first so i'm going to go ahead and do that real quick All 
right, so I fitted everything. Well, I forgot to put that plate back in, but it all has to come back apart anyway. I fitted it all in there. I wanted to make sure nothing was rubbing and that it worked correctly. Um, I still have to weld that back, but that's why I wanted to put everything in there because that pin's not the same size as the one that came out. But once I weld it in there, it's in there. I didn't think about covering up the caliper, so I got a couple uh, beads or spalls I gotta knock off there. They ain't gonna harm anything. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, like that, and I am going to uh, paint that back there with rust inhibitor to help this from rusting. I also have to repaint that because I ground that off for a ground. So, um, I'm gonna get the wire wheel out and clean out clean off some of this area. Alright, so wire wheel this whole thing, went over it with a couple coats of rust reformer. I think I went right there. And then uh I ran heat gun on it until it, you know, flash time was good. And I uh hit it with rust only and premium. And I'm gonna let it sit here and dry. Why I put the brakes on this side. Frankly, my here, I don't give a damn. Well, fast forward several hours, I uh, got everything buttoned back up, uh, back together. Um, had some family members come up, we loaded the drywall upstairs. Um, I was just now checking uh, to make sure there wasn't any run out in the rims or anything bent and everything looks to be fairly straight. Yep, everything looks pretty good. So, e-brake does, does work. Well... They need adjusted. I can hear it. It's touching. Yeah, they're touching. So I'll have to I'll have to adjust that. Actually I could probably adjust it here. I'll have to adjust it back here. Okay, so this side's adjusted fine because it's holding. It's just the other side that's not holding. So we only gotta adjust that side. So I'll get that while I'm getting this heat shield back here and we should be good. All right. So I actually forgot a part in that side. I had to tear it back apart. We got it. It's fixed. Um, <laughs> so now we got it all back together. I got the heat shield. Fold it up in. It's not going anywhere. Got it on both sides. And every mechanical issue is taken care of on this. So the next time 
I make another video, we're going to be cleaning this stuff off, this trim tape, cleaning the side of the car. We're going to be prepping and painting the wheels and brake calipers. Uh, probably pull them off the car, I guess. And we also need to prep the front bumper and paint this black because this comes you can see this through the front grill and i don't want to i don't want to see it to be honest with you we're all serviced up everything's fixed and i am tired i need to get this thing down on the ground um i think i'll go ahead and bolt this headlight in over here this one and whatever anyway you guys i'm taking a break from youtube so thanks for watching anyways um i'm not quitting i just i just need a break to be honest with you and i got lots and lots of work to do so uh be on the lookout here in the future i will have more videos but uh it's just not going to be within the next couple weeks i'd say so uh if you like this video go check out some other videos like subscribe and we'll see you on the next episode of